a process of gradual mental decline. A diagnosis is based on the presence of dementia and vascular disease being the most likely cause of the dementia symptoms. Only a few medications, called cholinesterase inhibitors, have shown efficacy in the treatment of mixed dementia. You're not a bad person, you have a personality disorder, and you are seeking treatment. Mood and behavioral changes are observed early and, in some patients, may be the presenting feature. The symptoms of dementia can vary, depending on which parts of the brain are affected. Treatment for vascular dementia is different for each person, but often involves addressing underlying problems. Unhealthy behaviors that put you at greater risk. Symptoms of vascular dementia can come on more suddenly than with other types of dementia and may show up after a stroke. Though there are several different types of dementia, vascular dementia has some specific details and symptoms. You can build up steadily from a slow start, to avoid hurting yourself and being put off the idea of exercise. Many symptoms of vascular dementia go unnoticed or are attributed to another condition, such as stress. Treatment of vascular dementia involves treating the underlying causes, which will help to slow down its development. Though many conditions may have similar symptoms to dementia, not all are considered to be dementia. Vascular contributions to cognitive impairment and dementia. Cerebrovascular disease is common to the elderly and can cause a wide spectrum of impairments ranging from mild to severe. Vascular disease produces either focal or diffuse effects on the brain and causes cognitive decline. Vascular disease of the brain, particularly hypertensive small vessel disease, is a more important factor in producing cognitive impairment and dementia than was previously thought. Cerebrovascular disease is a major contributor to later life dementia, accounting for up to 20% of cases of dementia. Lacunar state is a condition in which numerous lacunae, which indicate widespread severe small vessel disease, are present. In single infarct dementia, different areas in the brain can be affected, which may result in significant impairment in cognition. Evidence of vascular brain damage. Vascular dementia is a common type of dementia caused by reduced blood flow to the brain. Damage may cause a blockage or allow blood to leak into the brain tissues, resulting in insufficient blood reaching the brain cells and causing them to die. The walls of the blood vessels become thick, and the vessels become stiff and twisted, reducing the blood flow. A blood vessel in the brain breaks open and blood escapes into the brain under pressure, compressing other blood vessels and brain cells causing damage and death. The amount of damage a stroke causes depends on where in your brain the blood clot happens, and how long the blood supply is cut off for. Vascular dementia can sometimes develop after a stroke blocks an artery in the brain, but strokes do not always cause vascular dementia. Disease directly contributing to dementia symptoms. No known way to prevent irreversible dementia or even MNY types of reversible dementia exists. Researchers do not know exactly how many older adults currently diagnosed with a specific type of dementia actually have mixed dementia, but autopsy studies indicate that the condition may be significantly more common than previously realized. In most cases of mixed dementia, the patient will experience more symptoms associated with one type of dementia than the other type or types. Treatments may help to maintain mental function longer, manage behavioral symptoms, and slow down the symptoms of disease. When symptoms of dementia start to surface or when a doctor suspects dementia, the patient will undergo a complete physical exam, as well as some memory tests. Vascular dementia is the second most common type of dementia in the United States, affecting between 15 to 20 percent of people with dementia. Up-to-date health information on the medical topics. Lack of proper health care and not taking care of your physical health can be a component of developing an anxiety disorder. Keeping fit and healthy in old age is important, for both physical health and emotional well-being, and finding ways to keep your loved ones active is a positive step in caring for them. Palliative care is supportive care focused on comfort, while hospice care is also focused on comfort but includes a decision not to pursue aggressive care or treatment. Subcortical vascular dementia is a clinical entity, widespread, even challenging to diagnose and correctly treat. Patients with early dementia may benefit from formal neuropsychologic testing to aid in medical and social decision-making. By keeping your brain active and keeping your body healthy, you can help protect yourself against dementia. 
Click here to know more about subcortical vascular dementia.